Paper was like gold in medieval times. I want tobacco. Sugar. That everything we thought we knew about the world might turn out to be completely wrong. Weekend retreats are a haven for DIYers who know just enough to be dangerous. Let's get a little more aggressive with the drywall. And when property owners get in over their heads... Dave, you giving up? I give up. We're here to save them from their reno gone wrong. All right, I got your back. <laughs> in just two days, we're going to whip these weekend warriors into shape. Nice. Oh, look at that. Look at I'm Dave DePensier, and this is Reno My Reno. We're at the weekend retreat of Rose Buse and Robert Johnston. Rose has called us because Robert is a DIYer in way over his head. He's not quite as handy as I thought. Master disaster. <laughs> the sunroom, which looks right out to the lake, could be a great place to pass a hot afternoon. But it's not so relaxing in its current state. With sagging ceiling tiles secured by staples, an excessive amount of spray foam, and mangled drywall, Rob's in dire need of help to right his reno wrongs. Robert, what is up with all of these staples here? Right. <laughs> Guys, you got to tell me a little bit about this space. How did we get to this point? Well, the ceiling was always falling down, so uh, being a handyman, <laughs> I grabbed a staple gun and <laughs> attempted to put it in. Apparently, the staples weren't long enough. We didn't have any duct tape. Yeah. I bought this cottage about five years ago and it was my midlife crisis, I think. It needed a lot of work. It's 40 years old and Rob's a handyman. I can see that. Yeah, so he's done some work for me. We got crazy on the insulation, I see. We've got spray foam creeping out everywhere. Actually, Rose's brother put the windows in. Yeah. So I figured I'd go ahead and spray around the windows and then... Well, sprayer in you did. I did. I did a great <laughs> I'd job. I'd love to see you shave in the morning. <laughs> so it's not supposed to look like that? It should be shaved off and cleaned up. Didn't realize you had to trim it afterwards. Yeah, it needs a little bit of repair. You didn't totally do it wrong. I just think you got a little carried away with it. Now, the drywall, Robert, really, I got to hear about this. Well, the drywall. <laughs> First time I've uh, put drywall up and... And uh, you didn't quite get it finished. Not quite. It's a uh, work in progress. Yeah, it's pretty well been forgotten about other things to do and... Golfing and fishing. Priorities. Three and a half years ago, I was in Chicago with some girlfriends. Yep. And while I was there, I got an email from Rob. And he said, Rose, I'm at the cottage. I'm going to drywall the sunroom. And I thought, wow, this is great. I'm so lucky. He's handsome and handy. And he's still handsome. <laughs> yeah. I'm definitely not a carpenter by any means. Well, it's a good thing you put the poly on the inside of the walls. Kind of <laughs> not supposed to go that way, but yeah. we'll, we'll work with that. <laughs> My favorite part, actually, was the poly on the inside of the house. That one was classic. He took a little ribbon for that. It's clear to me that you have not mastered the art of drywall. Drywall's not my thing, I guess. <laughs> Never seen drywall that bad before in my life. So, Rose, it's been three and a half years, and now it's time for you to take a little holiday. And this time, when you come back, this space is going to be finished. Promise? I promise you. Yeah. Thank have, you have so fun. much. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> I want a sunroom that's actually nice to look at and for Rob to be able to finish the rest of the cottage. He's got it in him. I know he does. You, my buddy. <laughs> All this stuff, it's going to go. It's got to go. You're going to stay here. We're going to get the work boots on. We're going to get the tool belt on. And we're going to finish this place right. So when Rose comes back, she's going to come back to a place that's actually finished. Sound good? Sounds great. Let's that's... get at her, buddy. Right. My assessment is gut it and start from scratch. I mean, there's no other way around it. I think he realized he made some big mistakes. But we're going to try and help him redeem himself. Robert, are you ready? I'm ready, dude. Let's go. Rip this place down. The ceiling is coming down, and it took a lot of staples to keep it up in place. <laughs> the hardware store, they made a lot of uh, money off my staple purchases. He had a lot of staples. He liked the staple gun. I think that's actually the only tool he owns. Hey, 
that drywall over there. I'd like to get you to take this off. <laughs> oh, it, it, it already is. Where did it you forget is. the screws here or what? Well, no, I had the couch against it. <laughs> oh, now it makes sense. Perfect. Saving money. <laughs> well, let's get this out here. All right. I felt a little bit smaller when he found my drywall. <laughs> I think that was the last sheet, and he just gave up and put the couch there to cover it up. That's my guess. Here's our mess. Wow, what happened in here? Well, she all fell apart on us real quick. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to get a couple guys cleaning up this foam. I'm going to get Robert here uh, to undo the screws, get the drywall off there. We'll get this place completely cleaned up, and then we'll start the finishing process. Sound like a plan? That's a plan. All right, let's, let's have at her. How many cans of foam did you go through? Come on. <laughs> Robert, you must have got a staple gun for Christmas, did you? You mean he got one for every Christmas? Yeah. <laughs> Demolition is always the best, and I was so happy to tear this place apart. I can't imagine how happy he was. I'm probably going to get hired someplace before the show is over. Well, let's not push that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let's get a little more aggressive with the drywall off Let's here, do it, Dave. Right? Let's go. There we go. Ripping it apart for him is fun. I could really see that. Let's get the next one. Yeah. Take your frustrations out. Out of my life. Ah. So you learn much from me, lads? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Well, I'm ready for break. <laughs> of course, you did more in five minutes than you did in three, three years. Three and a half years, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm really glad uh, we're through the demo and uh, we can move on now, now that we have the expertise here. <laughs> Rob, a couple things went wrong here. Insulation, tight to the ceiling, not enough room for airflow. Yeah, I took out the insulation and it didn't have any airflow, so we have to fix that problem and put some more vents in and get some airflow before we put the ceiling back on. All so right. what I've done here is cut this out that goes into the attic. So now we're gonna take these vents. This is gonna allow airflow. So the good thing about this is you get to cut the rest of them. Sweet. Have at her. Don't hurt yourself. Oh, well, I'll try not to. So we had to cut the boards out in between the rafters to allow our more vents to go through continuously, to allow airflow from bottom to top. Look at that. Straighter than your drywall cuts. Wow. You can measure with that. Oh, Robert, I see you found your favorite tool again. Yeah, and you need it now, don't you, Dave? Stand back. <laughs> yes, stand back. We actually do need it. It's still hot. So I actually had to put my tail between my legs and ask him for his staple gun. Okay. He was super stoked to break out his favorite tool, put it that way. Nice. Oh, look at that. You're like a, you're like a pro with that thing. Oh, with the Moore's Vance, they did need an expert stapler. I was there. <laughs> I don't know if I can stop. He's a great stapler. And he could go crazy on those, because you can put as many staples in as you want. Oh, yeah, that's looking good. Nice. It's not going to stay. So we pulled the insulation out, and it's a friction fit product. And because it was all mixed up, it wasn't going back in its original space. So what we ended up having to do was poly the ceiling halfway. Hey, Rob, oh, grab your stapler. <laughs> <laughs> and then stuff the insulation down so the poly would hold it up. Gets it done and, it, and it's done right. It's just the process had to go a little differently. In the renovation world, sometimes you gotta do things reverse of the way they normally go. Okay. That's what you run into when you do renovations. Perfect. Look at that. Good job. Slide on down, we'll get you another one. You're on fire now. It's done right and we got the job done. All right, this is the big thing here, Robert. Finishing time. You ready? We're ready. All right, let's go. So instead of putting drywall on the ceiling and on the walls, we've decided to use the tongue and group pine, which I think suits the cottage. It smells like wood. It gives a nice atmosphere as you're looking at the water in the woods. Well, boys, we got a lot of work ahead of us. We're gonna have to burn some midnight oil if we're gonna get this ceiling done tonight. To be honest, I'm scared of this window. Day three, two, one. Fellas, great Morning. job last night on the ceiling. So we had a big day ahead of us. I want to get the tongue and groove on the front wall, the back wall. Robert and I are going to do the two windows, and then we'll get the side walls all tongue and grooved as well. Good. OK, let's get at it. All right. Robert! So my plan is to have him do one window with me, and then he's going to do the other one on his own. One to 10, as confidence goes, I'm probably about a two and a half, three. <laughs> my instinct is he's going to butcher it. But we'll be there to save him. 
Perfect. We're getting rid of the two windows on the side because there's not enough room for trim. So we're putting one window in the center. This will space out better on the wall and also allow for trim to go all the way around the window. Now what we gotta do is I gotta figure out exactly where the center of this new window is gonna go. Okay. And we've gotta cut some of this. We gotta go outside and tear out, if you can look out here, some of this brick molding. Oh yeah. You getting her? Oh yeah, it's almost time to go fishing though. <laughs> It was all work, no fishing rows. Can you handle zipping that off? Yep. He's really good. He's keen to learn. He's actually doing a pretty good job. Never attempt this at home unless you're a trained professional. Right? Dave is just, well, it's all new to me. So without him, I wouldn't have a clue. Everything that you can possibly run into installing a replacement window we are running into it today. So bad insulation would be a lot easier. Foam's better, <laughs> but our situation yeah, no would be a lot easier. Spray foam in the walls, which we have to run new studding through, so we have to cut out the spray foam. We have to reframe some pieces to create a new opening. The only thing we got left to do before we tie back is fill these two ends in with the plywood. And then fill in the old windows as well and dealing with different thicknesses on the outside of the cottage to bring it out flush for his future siding last step cut out the old siding for our new frame okay tie back and then the window awesome okay there we go that's some of my duct tape <laughs> <laughs> duct tape holding the old siding up. we're not sure <laughs> So we got it fastened in. Okay. What we'll do is we'll go inside, we'll double check, make sure everything's operating okay, put some shims in. And we don't want to be, because then it pulls everything out. Yeah. Be nice and easy, then we're going to check everything again. So there we go, Rob. Got everything done. Showed you kind of how the whole structure's got to go. Yeah. Now it's your turn. Winner number two, that's up to you. <laughs> To be honest, I'm scared to this window. <laughs> if he can do this, he can do any window in the cottage. What he did was he took the old windows out, which was easy because it's demolition. But now laying out the new window, that's going to be hard. Hey, Dave. Yeah? Come on over for a minute. That's not going great. I'm not surprised he was struggling. There's a lot of stuff he has to contend with. And for a DIYer, it's a pretty tough situation to be in. We got to go off the center and then level yeah. it out. Yeah. Before we cut anything, we'll just double check it. All right. So I measured this. Cut the foam quarter inch to 3 eighths approximately with the Sawzall and be careful. So I can just go ahead across here. Or... Yep. Once you get that all cut out, We'll double check, and then we'll start nipping everything else. All right. Oh, f Dave! I didn't want Dave to feel, you know, inferior to me in my window techniques, so I figured I'd pack it in, you know, keep a few new friends. You giving up? I give up, man. Fellas, what? we're in for another long one again tonight. Oh, thank, oh. thank you, Captain Obvious. Listen, you guys get on the floor, yeah. and I'll finish the window. We got to get all of this done. I know. All right. Let's get at her. All right. All right. I probably didn't tell you this. What's that? Rose hates pine. Morning. Morning, boys. Hey. Morning. Heck of a night last night. All the work we did last night, Rob was a huge help. He's actually coming into his own as a carpenter. The home stretch day is today, so here's the projects we need done right away. So I got to get these windows done, yep. the bench done. Okay. Yep. I got Meryl coming in to give us a hand with some of the finishing touches, get her to make a cushion for that bench. The specialist. And Rob, I got a little <laughs> side project for you and I. 
I want to build a little firebox for your firewood here. And oh, nice. I yeah. think you're up to the task today. You're going to give me oh, a hand yeah. finishing that. All right? Don't get excited. There's no stapling in No stapling? <laughs> <laughs> no. We're going to do this firebox. What height do you think you might want at the top of this box? Maybe six feet. Right around the six foot mark? I think so. Because yeah. you don't want to be reaching up too much higher than that, yeah. putting wood in and out of it. And Rose isn't real tall. We took into consideration Rose's height and her reach and uh, safety. We didn't want any logs falling on her if she ever does stoke the fire. But anyways, uh... <laughs> I probably didn't tell you this. What's that? Rose hates pine. Oh, yeah? I could probably throw some drywall on there. <laughs> It'd be a lot simpler this time. Rob fits in just like just one of the boys. He's always been here. Joking, man. For somebody who hasn't worked before, he's he's working out quite nice. We might keep him. Oh, it's hard to get good help. I know the feeling. Yeah, yeah, you must. <laughs> he's a funny guy, and he's a hard worker. I'll get this set in place for you, and then you can screw yeah, this off for me. Good morning. You get the bottom? Just make sure each side's flush. Oh, boy. Hey, Dave. <laughs> He's getting a jump start on uh, next year's Carpenter's calendar, apparently. Hey, Miss January, <laughs> laying around on the job again, eh? Looking good doing it. The boys were making fun of me, saying that they were going to take a couple of photos for a calendar, but if anybody wants to shoot it, I think every one of my friends would want one. What Anthony and I were talking about was we were just wondering what we were going to do with the top. Did you want to have it closed in, or did you want to have it so that we can lift it up to hide things in it? Well, I think with the space we're going to have left after the framing and the size of it, let's just close it in. OK. Uh, Dave, I yeah. was just wondering if we can throw uh, an extra shelf, just say up here, just for the kindling wood. Well, we got the framework all set. I had an idea of just doing all wood, but he burns wood, so he knows what he wants, and he actually added a space for the kindling, which was good. Yeah, I don't want it much higher than this for rows because I don't want. To and then if we make another little box here, just... okay. Hey, Anthony. Hey, buddy. All that pine I was going to use for this window seat, we're out. I know why you ran out of pine. Rob? Yeah. I know. He I'm burns everything. I'm surprised our tools are still Pyro here. Rob, we <laughs> should call him. <laughs> I do have a lot of trim left over this stuff here, which might work. If we go right around the room with that down at the bottom, and I'll shake it in the corner. So I'll actually miter the corners yep. so it looks like it was meant to be there. That sounds great. Oh, then we'll just paint the center of that. Paint the center. It'll match the windows. And uh, Rob's your uncle. <laughs> Love it. We ran out of wood, so we had to compromise and do something different. And it was Anthony's idea, and it's actually, I think, going to look even better. Well, guys, I think that's about it for all the last little pieces of trim. Get this stuff cleaned out. I'll call in Marilyn. We'll get her in here to help us with the furnishings. Right on. Great job, guys. Appreciate it. Want to count down for you? OK. Three, two, one. The work is done, but we need Meryl to come in to help us with the final touches and make it look sweet. Hope it fits. Hey, Dave, what do you think? Is that the cushion you made? It is. Good. This can be perfect. Get the table here. Be able to enjoy all kinds of cocktails. Yeah. Well, let's go get the rest of the stuff. Okay. Move it in. OK. That way. A little bit back. OK, a little bit forward. Oh, that's good. What do you think about this right here for matches? Perfect, but let's just move it right around the side. OK. You got up cards, guys. I think the space looks awesome. Originally, this space was cobbled together, spray foam everywhere, staples holding up ceiling tiles, and a disastrous drywall job. Now, after all of Rob's hard work, it's time to see if he can get back in the good books with Rose. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, my god. I can't believe it. This is incredible. Wow. This is unbelievable. Oh. 
it's transformed it. It's a different cottage. If it wasn't on this property and I stepped into it, I wouldn't yeah. believe it was my cottage. <gasps> oh, I love you, everybody. <laughs> oh, this is just, oh my. How wild, eh? Well, what do you wow. think? Wow, this is unbelievable. I love it. <gasps> the look on Rose's face was priceless. I told oh. her we had mauve paint. Oh. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I was a little worried. Good bluff, though, Rob. <laughs> we started out, we completely tore the place down right to the bones. Wow. It, it was important for our man Rob here to start <laughs> from scratch, wow. get everything out of the way, because he wanted to create a nice, romantic, relaxing space for you, which wow. I think, I think he's achieved. Oh, yeah. oh, my. Not only are we here to fix the mess, but I was here to help Rob get out of the doghouse. We noticed the storage was lacking for the wood, so we wow. thought we'd do a floor-to-ceiling storage for the wood. And he stopped me halfway this morning <laughs> and said, Dave, we got to add something for the kindling. Thank you. <laughs> Why don't you try reaching for the kindling? Make sure it's a good height for you. Perfect. Yeah, Dave was piling it on pretty thick. He uh, He's put me in the good books with Rose, so <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so Rose, in the middle of the night, you can stoke the fire. I knew there was a method to his madness. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I love you thought of everything. It was very overwhelming. There were so many things I didn't know where to look. So Rose, why don't you go have a seat on the new uh, nook we built for you? Can I? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh my God, I love it. Oh. <laughs> She's got a place to sit down, enjoy a cup of coffee or a glass of wine and read a book, which is what she does in that room all the time. Everything's so light and cozy and I'm, I'm just speechless. And then the windows. Oh my, oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. We ended up tearing out the old windows to allow room for the wood storage yeah. and a nice little sitting area. Wow. And actually tackled that one on his own oh, and did a fantastic wow. job. I love that. I am so happy that you <laughs> had problems with the initial renovations. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I never thought I could do it. Thank you. The guys did a great job. They're a real class act. Real good job. I really don't want to leave. I can't believe this is my cottage. Yep. This is the same place. That is, it's fabulous. You guys did so much, you know. For it's, us, uh, yeah. It's just overwhelming.